Mr. Uh, Davies, Mr. Davies, please go ahead, two minutes and a half. Thank you, Minister Anand. Uh, the government has said repeatedly that we have enough vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna locked in now alone to vaccinate every Canadian by September. We also have as one of our seven contracts, one with, I think it's 20 million doses from AstraZeneca. If that's true, why then did Canada need to access 2 million doses of uh, AstraZeneca vaccine from COVAX, which let's face it, is a fund primarily to help low-income countries get access to the, to the vaccine? Well, thank you for the question. As I said, we are aware and participate in COVAX and its two pillars. The multilateral procurement pooled mechanism is for the purposes of receiving doses in both developed and developing countries. Right, but my question is, my question, Minister, is why, why, ac but why access that? If, you, if it is true that you already have enough from Pfizer and Moderna, you don't need to access COVAX. But, Mr. Davies, the reason is that we would like to have as many doses in Canada as early as possible, and COVAX allows us earlier doses, and that was our goal in selecting right. AstraZeneca. Well, this is what Diana Sarosi from Oxfam says. She says, Canada should not be taking the COVAX vaccine from poor nations to alleviate political pressures at home. Receiving one or two million doses isn't going to solve Canada's vaccination challenges, and it is going to cause harm elsewhere in the world for the poorest and most marginalized people. How do you respond to that statement? I respond by saying that we are committed to COVAX. We provided $220 million to the advanced market commitment, which is for low-income countries specifically. We are making sure that we participate not only through the advanced market commitment for low-income countries, but also in the governance of COVAX with Karina Gould, our Minister of International Development, making sure she's taking a leading role on behalf of our government. And in addition, we will share excess doses with the rest of the world once those doses come into Canada and are not usable. Okay. So uh, there part, is the my... intention to help the rest of the world. Sure. Um, my final question is this, is um, obviously we're in a global competition for limited supply. Uh, we have billions of people chasing millions of vaccines. Um, India and South Africa have proposed to the WTO to loosen uh, trade rules to allow all countries to have access to intellectual property instead of having a handful of companies control limited supply. Why is Canada opposing that proposal at the WTO? Actually, I appreciate the question, and I am not sure of the reason myself. I am so focused on procuring vaccines for this country. I spend every waking moment, and there aren't many others in the day on this issue, but I will certainly get back to the member about this question and uh, elucidate it for both him and me. Thank you, Mr. Davies. Thank you, Minister. So that brings all 